Hello everybody, welcome back to Super Tech Services. On today's video, we're going to be testing out the HP LaserJet Enterprise M406 printer. We're just gonna check it out the features here, give it a little test, and potentially upgrade the firmware just to see if it uh, needs it or not. So stay tuned. Okay, right away, we're just going to check out what it's got. It's got some cables and the power cable and a USB cable, which is nice. Everything is nice, well-wrapped from the company that we got them from, so very cool. We thank for that. Just want to go over some of the specs. It's got a sprint speed up to 40 pages a minute, print resolution 12 by 12, connectivity USB 2.0 and Ethernet Wi-Fi optional, and the paper handling has a 250 sheet input tray and a 100 sheet manual bypass tray. So this is just perfect for your everyday user, personal or business alike. This can be something you set right next to you, no problem, or something you take with you at the office. It's a very simple printer, but it works very well for my testing paper tray we're just going to open up here and you can see that this paper tray actually supports multiple paper sizes so you can do eight and a half by eleven but you can also extend it out for legal size as well so eight and a half by eleven eight and a half by fourteen and a four as well and like I said it takes 250 sheets and then the my manual bypass will be 100 sheets the rollers are your HP uh, standard rollers, uh, very easy to install, which we love. It's just you kind of press a clip and they come right out. And there's the manual bypass roller, a little bit thicker, can support uh, larger paper sizes as well. I mean thicker, I'm sorry. Then you have your HP uh, toner cartridge, which, which is the 58A. As for the buttons up top, I really like these buttons. They have a rubber feel to them and they feel very nice. At the back there's our fusing unit which has a life cycle of 150,000 pages and it seems to be easily replaceable. At the bottom you got our power, uh, network, and USB ports. Processors a 1.2 gigahertz processor as well. Here I'm just quickly showing you just what the menu screen looks like. It's color, very easy, simple to use, up, down, left, right, and you have your number buttons. So you can just go through and print anything you would like through the menu. We prefer doing uh, most everything through the splash page, which I'm going to show you next, which you just need the IP address for that and you can access a splash page. But you could do everything through the menu right up front as well, and the screen is easy and it's very simple to use. So after I plugged in an ethernet cable to the printer, I'm just getting the IP address here so that I can go over and show you what the splash page looks like. And so once you get the IP address, you can just type that in to your browser, which mine is 192.168.2.100, and this is what you will get, the HP LaserJet M406 splash page, as we call it. And it has a boatload of settings. You can see information, general, print, supplies, troubleshooting, security, HP web services, and networking. So this is very very intuitive, very nice. I've dealt with HP for a number of years and they always have great menus, but sometimes they run a little slow. This menu is a lot faster. Anything you click on usually loads within just a second or two. And like I said, you have every feature you can possibly need in here, uh, especially network is where I usually hang out at. And it gives me all the settings I need to do. You can put the IP address in there. You can change the host name. You can turn on air print. And like I said, you have your security settings as well. Uh, they very make make it very easy. But uh, make sure you set a password for the HP printer when you go in. So now what we're going to be doing is downloading firmware for this machine, which you're just going to go ahead and go to HP's website, select your make and model, and then you can see there's the firmware bundle. So we're going to go ahead and just download that. And once that is uh, downloaded, we're just going to go ahead and extract it to a folder. And then we'll go right back to the splash page where we were and install it. So here I'm just creating an HP folder. And I'm pasting in the file that I just downloaded. Then I'm just going to extract it to the same folder here. 
so you can see it'll create a new folder but that one has been extracted and that is my firmware file there so you can just go to troubleshooting firmware update and then select the file that we just downloaded and then choose install and this is going to take about three to five minutes or so it's going to in install into the machine then the machine is going to reboot and after that's done that will be the firmware installation so we're just waiting on the printer to reboot now after it does you want to just go ahead and print a config sheet and then make sure that that's the new firmware which it is 2024-0703 so that's some brand new firmware just for this year in July and we know that the printer took it now last but not least we're just going to download the drivers from HP as well so you can go to HP's website same website where you got the firmware and select the driver whether you want the full package or the basic driver I always opt for the basic driver because that's all I need I don't need the full suite of software that HP provides it's pretty big it's pretty bulky but for you you may you may want that I like the simple basic driver and it just provides the basic printing functionality because that's all I'll be using the printer for. Once that's downloaded, you'll do the same thing, just extract it as well to your folder. And you won't need to install it from the folder, you'll be installing it from the print dialog box window. So you'll just hit add printer. And I always add mine manually, like so. And then select TCP IP and click next and then TCP IP and enter the IP address of the printer. Once that's done, I just click Next. Then you're going to click Have Disk and point it to the driver, wherever the driver is located, where you extracted it at, and select whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit. Just name it and then install it quick and easy and then we're just going to go ahead and print a test pack. okay and final thoughts on the HP 406 great printer whether for personal use or for business use single-sided duplex printing also supports the special toner used for accounting as well everything you need in this little small box great printer HP makes great stuff and that was the HP LaserJet Enterprise 406 we'll see you on the next video Bye.